Welcome, my name is Sandor Tombac and I would like to thank you that you are watching my video. The former military forces of Soviet Union uh, settled down temporarily in this country. They had big influence of the country and Saget wasn't an exception. This place where I'm standing now called Marx Square. Today the people still remember of this place as a Mars Square and referring for that one. The government after when the Soviet troops left Hungary they decided they changed the street name. It was very simple. They changed only one letter called Mars Square. But the older generation still refer to the square as a Mars Square. This place is the local coal station and you can find the local market, one of the largest market here when you can buy uh, food, drink, vegetables and all of the necessary things which you need in the kitchen. The local market is open until 6 p.m. But if you would like to have very nice food, you have to come here early morning. They are opening 5 o'clock in the morning. No, the stalls are empty, but there are two huge buildings which giving home for the small shops and uh, covered marketplace. It is 3.30 in the afternoon and the place is supposed to be open until 6 o'clock. The building is almost empty now. As I mentioned, if you would like to buy some food, you have to come here early morning. I think we are not able to buy anything now because everything is looks like closed. I got the information, the shops are already closing at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock and only the marketplace is open. So you can come in but you are not able to buy lots of things. What I see here, some flowers, no, but the flowers I can see, very nice flowers around. If you would like to buy one still you are able to. Look at guys, what a nice it's cottage's heart, if I translate that one. And uh, we have something here which I don't know is burek or I'm not sure. and some pizzas also heavy able it's a very nice shop bakery in Seged what can I have one kapatok egyet? persze 
És abból a... Tekercsből is? Ebből a tekercsből is. Hello! How are you? Oh my God. Thank you very much. My name is Sander and I just noticed this very nice shop. So I wanted to buy some local uh, products, but uh, I don't know is local or not. Do you know this uh, Baronfi Tekercs yeah. is local one? And what is what you are recommending to buy if uh, someone wants to come here and buy us a local food? This is the chicken meat. This is the chicken meat, yet? Yeah. Yes, but anything else which is li really Hungarian or product from Szeged? Which one is what you recommend? That's one. Products of Hungary. Yes, the products of Hungary. Every bakery in Hungary has a product like this. Okay, so it's a pizza, basically. It's chicken. Mm -hmm. it's And which one is better, the the cottage cheese? This is cheese. This is pudding. Pudding. Okay, I will I will try more this. Yes, please. The cow cheese. This is with cow cheese. Cow goat cheese. Oh, okay, that's good. With uh, sugar. With sugar. Thank you very much. How much is that? I have to pay. How much I? This is traditional pizza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. With onions. What is this like traditional I think I can see this kind of things uh, all over the world, but uh, what I haven't seen that cottages, uh, which as you mentioned is a goat cheese, and bogacze, cheese bogacze, cheese bogacze. Okay, can I try this one also? The cheese pogacha? Small or no. just Big. just one small, let's uh, say. Kitchen. 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 I think it will be enough. I have enough to eat, no? <laughs> But thank you very much indeed. Thanks for coming Thanks. here. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the bakery where I bought that nice food and called called Dori Pékség. If you would like to have some nice product, you come here, buy some. I paid uh, around 1,000 pounds for... 1,000 pounds? Sorry, 1,000 forints for that all of the products, which is uh, around two and a half pounds. That's a nice price. This is the chicken field wrap, I think so. Try this one. Mm. How it looks like? Some cheese, some meat. Not bad. I am standing in front of the Szeged Rókus Csapel. It's a very important place for Szeged. In 1738 there was a catastrophic event in this city. 1538 people died because of the black box. And they swear they will build a church and this is the result what we have here it's very dark here now nobody is here I don't know if we can go in or not what I have here 
here. Oops, that's different. Nothing to see, but believe me, it's a very nice sculpture inside. And uh, Christ. It is late, although if you would like to go in, there is a possibility to use the bell and they will open for you the door. The door is closed at the moment and uh, not able to go in. Just a couple of steps from the Mars Square you can find the St. Stephen Square where is a spectacular water tube standing and uh, it was designed by Zelinsky Szilard in 1904 since he is fulfilling his own or its own uh, purpose and if you would like to visit the tower you have the possibility to go up you have to pay around two and half pounds or euros and you are able to go up to the top look around the city in the night is really nice lit and just look at this game the first time when Seged as a city name mentioned in a written document it's dated back to 1183 Saget had three main catastrophic events. One of them is at 1241 when the Mongolian invasion destroyed the city. 1247 when Bela IV rebuilt the city. In this area, where I'm standing now, this is the Stecheny Square. There was the west wall of the fortress here, in this area. And they used this park as a practicing area for military purpose. In 1444, they signed the peace agreement and uh, Szeged became the independent city of Hungarian kingdom and became the first capital of Hungary. But you know the history. In 1526 there was another disaster when the Turkish Ottoman Empire went through the country. Obvious Budapest became the Hungarian capital. Not to mention again, but I think this is the most important date. This is 1879 when the Great Flood destroyed the entire city. Hungarian people, they did not give up and they rebuilt it with help of 32 countries. This area where I'm standing now was not just practicing field for the military purpose. It was a red paprika or red pepper market, if I am sure. And the beginning of the Seychelles Square, there was lots of stalls where they sold fish. So this area 
was the local market. When they rebuilt the city, they built in a style which is Art Nouveau and uh, you are able to find lots of nice buildings in the city if you are visiting. I highly recommend that one. It's a very nice place. I hardly managed to show what are you able to find here. But believe me, lots of to see here also. I mentioned this place had been the marketplace always. Now the city is preparing for the Christmas fair and using the place as a marketplace. Fair is just opening the gate at Saged. What a beautiful ox school. And the meld wine, available all over the market. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget the palinka, Hungarian palinka, and the hot chocolate. And in Hungary, on a Christmas trees, they put some nice chocolate called Salon Cukor. Different kind of flavors available. And decorating the Christmas tree with that one.
you hear about the famous gulash and you hear about the famous second halas lake fish soup although there are many other things which is enjoyable food in Hungary the stuffed cabbage the black pudding or Véres hurka in Hungarian and uh, the sausage and one of them what I would like to offer you that's the blood with uh, fried onion So this is the food what I bought. This is the blood with uh, onion, fried onion, some uh, watermelon, like a pickled one with bread. If you are buying this one, recommending that one, you have to eat some bread with this. It is a very nice food. Uh, basically what they are doing, when they are killing the pig, they are collecting the blood. Uh, usually, you know the black pudding in England, they are preparing with blood, but uh, here in Seged, they are preparing with red onion or, or just uh, normal onion, fried onion, and this is very nice. Some seasonal, uh, some salt and uh, some pepper on it, not really too much season on it but uh, you can uh, really enjoy this food it's one of the most famous food in Zagreb I know I know you are aware of the other foods but believe me try this one this is nice also mm. really nice this bread this is the time when I have to say goodbye I just leaving this beautiful city going to the railway station and go back to London See you next time guys! You see, this is really the city of sunshine. In 1727 and 29, in Hungary, in Szeged, there was the biggest witch hunt. 12 to 14 people had been killed and burned alive in the island of the witches. 
uh, next to the Tissa River because they wanted to pacify the population. Today the island is a popular place to take a walk or bike ride with hauntingly fascinating history. This is end of November and look at this park. You have seen in November some roses. Here, if you are visiting Seged, you are lucky and you are able to see that one. Beautiful flowers around the entire city.